the things that had been promised to them, specifically by President Woodrow Wilson and David Lloyd George, had not been delivered. Instead, they'd been violated, their honor had been degraded. A very large proportion of them felt a very great deal of resentment against the rest of the world. Hitler was devastated by that, like huge numbers of Germans. Hitler, like many others, couldn't explain it, had to find some way of explaining it to himself. And like tens of thousands of others, he blamed the home front. He blamed socialists, Marxists, Jews, people who undermined Germany from within. The stab in the back theory surfaced in right-wing circles after the end of the war as a way to explain the sudden defeat. It was believed that the left-wing Republican and Jewish populations of Germany, who had made up the home front, had lost the war from within. Most Germans did not believe in the stab in the back legend. The independent social democrats and the mainstream social democrats and then the communist party in the early 20s uh, were a major part of the German political uh, system, about a third of the electorate. So this belief in the stab in the back and a Jewish conspiracy in 1918 to 19 was very much a lunatic fringe group on the right. The First World War had seen the young Hitler in a role which suited him. However, the sudden loss for Germany was too much to take, not only for Hitler, but for the entire population. This, along with the humiliation of Versailles, Hitler and a dangerous minority of the right-wing population looked for a scapegoat. The search would see the birth of a new party and bring together some of the most dangerous men Germany has ever produced. 